Hi, today we're going to look uh, briefly at how to get started with your new camera software. After you've installed it either, for, either from a CD or if you've downloaded it from internet, you would notice this icon appear on your desktop. Simply double click on that icon to launch the application. To get the video start streaming, you'll have to select the camera. Uh, to do that, go to the left hand side, it says camera list and select the camera in that list and you'll notice the video starts streaming. So currently the picture is out of focus, we're just gonna focus that. And I suggest setting your view to 50% as this gives the least, pix least pixelization uh, of the image. So we're gonna do three things now, white balance, exposure, as well as histogram. So let's just get started with the white balance. Um, you'll notice as soon as I click on the white balance that a uh, block appears here. Um, so we're gonna use this, this, this uh, uh, block here, uh, this rectangle, and put it over a white area um, so we can set our white balance. So let's just uh, scroll a bit on this image um, to find a white, a white area. Right, so we've got a white area below here. And I'm just gonna resize the image and then click on white balance and immediately you'll see it adjusts, it sets the temperature and tint for you so you don't have to. It's very easy to use um, and that's, that's basically all you have to do. If ever you want to set the temperature yourself to make it either warmer or colder, um, you can do that as well um, to make it sometimes a bit more realistic. And if you want to return to uh, proper white balance, just click on the white balance again. So that will be the white balance and next, next we do is the exposure. The auto exposure also gives you a little block here. You'll see this auto exposure tick box is ticked here. So what we want to do with auto exposure is just make sure that you maximize this uh, exposure target or the exposure block to the whole image. And what that does is when we scroll the image, it allows the image to um, adjust the, the color for the whole for the whole area. If you want the exposure brighter or darker, this is the scroller you'll use right here. Just simply go right for brighter or left for darker. Make sure not to overexpose your picture. You'll notice if I go too far right, you'll lose a lot of image quality. That, that doesn't make a good picture. Uh, consequently, if you go too far left, it goes too dark and the whites become gray. So just make sure you set it on a nice temperature, uh, nice uh, exposure rate as per your preference. Um, and that's about it. Both the auto exposure and white balance will save, so next time you open the application, you won't have to set that again. Unless, of course, you're using a different type of stain, you can maybe um, tweak it a little bit. The, the last thing, and uh, the third thing, in the, is the auto histogram, and this thing is optional, and usually you can do this uh, every time you want improvement on your image. So just go down to histogram here, and click on the auto button, you might have to do that twice, just do it once, twice, and you'll see immediately the colors are much more vibrant. Some people don't like using it, sometimes it makes it um, look unrealistic. So if you want to go back to the original setting, just click on default on the left hand side. Uh, personally, I like it, so I'm gonna click on auto. It just trims down the colors here on the, on the right and left and shows uh, and eliminates the colors we don't want to see. So I'm just going to close that now. And now, we, now we've done the three things that we need to do to take pictures. So we are ready to take pictures right now. And we can see here that on the left hand side there's a snap and a record. Um, and uh, on, the, on the snap, um, if we take the snap right here, we can see an image appear on the top right hand side. Um, and this, this is no longer the live image here. If, if you have to go left and click on video to see the live image. Let me scroll there, you can see. So if you want to take a, 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 a another snap, once again, I'm just gonna uh, show you this quickly. Click snap and another image appears there. So we've got two images here, one, two, and then we've got the live video feed, which is there. So on the left-hand side, you'll see there's two things, live and snap resolution. So the live resolution is of course this resolution right here. We can reduce that to increase the speed um, of the demonstration, so you're doing a presentation, you can either put that to 100 or 50. Um, and note that uh, this setting does not influence the snap setting. So when I take a photo, we're taking a photo on the snap resolution, pops right back up to the full quality. 
Um, and that's basically it. If you want to record video, you can use the record button here. And if you want to save your images, uh, just click on the save here and you can select the different types of formats that you want, which would be PNG, TIFF, JPEG, in one of those. Uh, finally, if you go to options and preferences at the top here, you will see the default directory where it will save. If you want to save that onto a network drive for everybody to share, you can do that right there. And I think that will cover this uh, part of the video. On the next video, we'll do slightly more advanced features. For now, you can take pictures. And uh, if you want to have any more details, maybe go to the website, or if you want to buy something, go to our uh, lumensonline.com website, which is now live, and feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much.